Fala pessoal, aqui é o Chap, sejam bem-vindos a mais Final Fantasy X 2, onde nós vamos pagar o show. Aham. Uh -huh. Ok, tá todo mundo aqui, né? Certo, aí o Filig e a. Tá, é tudo comigo agora, né? Ah? O quê? O pessoal tá meio esquisito hoje, eu tenho medo, é isso que ele disse, basicamente. Uh oh, this could get messy. No kidding. The two groups have been bumping heads since they got on the airship. Yeah. Looks like they're itching to start something. I'll pick up the audio. The Yevonites are here too? How am I supposed to enjoy the concert with them stinking up the air? Hey, you youth league dogs will never be worthy of hearing the high summoner sing. If the Praetor were here, he'd never let these maggots walk around spouting their nonsense. What I want to know is, where'd Nuge go? It's his fault that Spear is falling apart. What kind of leader abandons his people when they need him most? Don't they ever stop? Seriously. Well, Yuna, you're the one who wanted to do something. Yeah, but... Right? <laughs> so let's do something. Right! Let's do it! Oh, catastrophic catastrophe! Dear me, dear me! What or whatever should I do? The spectators are making a spectacle. I don't even want to speculate. Please, do something, Yuna. Leave it to us. Yay, as pessoas estão brigando. Vamos cantar para acalmar os seus corações. É, não vai ser violento, porque a gente... É, não, não, não vai ser violento, porque esse jogo não, não deixa a gente ser violento, né? Tá todo mundo contando. Vamos para o show? Não estou por... Bora pro show! One thousand years ago, before the time of sin, Spira was torn in two, divided by a terrible war. This was Spira's great mistake. Out of the rift left by this terrible conflict, sin was born. In only two short years, Spira has shaken off its unhappy past. We have moved on. Now, Spira grows brighter with each passing day. That light is our strength. I don't want to see it fade. Do you? There are so many of us, each with different ideas and different beliefs. Of course we sometimes disagree, and arguments will happen. But our hearts can and should always be one. Believe with me. Even if we are torn apart, our feelings will unite us. That is what this song is about. You 
using gentle words to shelter me. Your words were like a dream, but dreams could never fool me. Not that easily. I acted so distant then. Didn't say goodbye before you left But I was listening You'll fight your battles far from me Far too easily You know. I'm all right. I'm fine, really. It's past now. What did Shinra say? Um, he said it might be some kind of uh, interference with the sphere waves. Uni's dress sphere and the sphere screen reacted with each other, and uh, the consciousness burned into the dress sphere was projected onto the screen, <laughs> or something like that. Okay, but that doesn't explain why it happened. When I asked, he said, I'm only a kid. Ugh. It's Len. I was singing her feelings. During the song, I could feel them welling up inside until they just burst. So the people we saw were Len and Shuyin? Everyone's waiting. Let's go. Oh, well. Que coisa, não? Bom, primeiramente a música é bonita. Eu gosto da música. Desligou meu controle. Mas aparentemente a Dressfree interferiu com as 
pouco gestões e nós vimos todas as emoções de Lene no passado e todas aquelas cenas que na verdade a Yuna achou que era com ela, mas na verdade era com a Lene que aconteceu e com o Shuyin, onde eles foram mortos lá por aqueles guardas quando eles tentavam talvez mexer com o Veg da Gun por algum motivo. Pois é, e aí todo mundo viu isso. <risos> que coisa, não? <risos> Vamos ver como as pessoas vão reagir quanto a isso. Mas primeiro a gente salva. Porque é bom, a gente viu... Gente... Ou, a gente viu o Vegna Gun, gente atirando em gente. Doideira. Ah, você. Lady Yuna. Os onlookers foram todos muito enchanted. If it brings spirit together, even a little, then I'm glad. Indeed, I believe it shall. As you sang, not a soul could help but realize the folly of their tiresome squabbling. Fists once raised in anger became welcoming hands, offering solace to a tearful neighbor. I must admit that I, too, shed my share of tears the moment Len appeared. You know Len? Of course. Would you like to hear? Yes, tell us. <clears throat> Where to begin? About a thousand years ago, Len was a popular songstress in Zanagant. The talk of the town, you might say. In a more peaceful age, she might have lived out her years as a performer. But the times and her talents did not allow such a thing to be. You see, Len's gift for singing was matched by her genius in the summoner's arts. When the Machina War began, all summoners were sent to the front lines. Zanagant was hopelessly outnumbered. Len knew she would not return home alive. Nonetheless, she was prepared to lay down her life to protect her people. Yet there was one person who refused to let Len die. Yes, he would do anything to save her. He was a young man, Len's lover. Shuyin? I don't know. His name has been lost to history. Whatever his name, the youth endeavored to steal the enemy's machina weapon and save Len. However... <sighs> it didn't go well. The lovers met a truly tragic end. Those images we all witnessed are most certainly a record of their last moments. So Shuyin was Len's lover. And so that means the weapon that he tried to steal to save her must have been, um... Vegnagun, right? I think I can kind of understand how he felt. Trying so hard to save someone? Two years ago, I, I was the same. Trying to find some way, some way to save you. That was enough. Knowing that you were on my side, I'll always be grateful to you. Maybe Len felt the same way. The man she loved, he struggled to save her. He fought till his very last breath for her. I think that Len's final words might have been happy ones. I love you. Yes. There is a connection. But wait. Everything is all wrong. He never heard. The one person she wanted to tell, he never heard her words. What do you know? It's LeBlanc's game. They want to see Yuna. I'll have them wait in the engine room. Help! Agora sim descobrimos o que aconteceu realmente. Bom, a Lene, ela era uma cantora. 
lá de Zanarkand. Porém, quando começou as guerras das máquinas, né? Ela tinha aptidão para ser invocadora, é isso que eu entendi? Como sendo uma... Vou até dizer an antecessora da Yuna, talvez. E ela foi pra frente pra batalhar a Lene. Mas o Shuin, que era o namorado dela, né? Não gostou muito disso, não. Porque ela ia pra batalha, só que não ia dar muito certo. E aí foi lá e tentar roubar a grande arma dos, dos outros. E aí deu no que deu, né? Fala, gente. I've been hunting around since we last met, and I happen to find a rather peculiar spear. It shows my new Jiwuji. For some reason, that chump Barrel Eye is there, too. But it's from some years ago. I'm afraid it's not much help now, loves. How about you? Have you tracked down my Nuji yet? Nuji's on the far plane. I saw him there with Gippo. The far plane? What is he doing in a place like that? I think he's searching for Barrelai and Vegnagun. Oh, ho, ho. so Barrelai is the one pulling Vegnagun strings. I should have known. No, that's not it. How do I explain? Never mind, I don't have time for this. Boys, we're going to the far plane. <laughs> Anything but that, boss. We are no match for that sort of opponent. Now, don't be silly. The power of love conquers all. It's decided. We're going to save Spira. Yes, ma'am. Well, then, get this tanker moving. Nossa, tá, tá bom, não precisa empurrar, ô oh, doida. É... Ok. Nossa, se o jogo fosse sobre a, a gangue da Leblanc, eu acho que ia ser muito legal, né? Se fosse eles os protagonistas desse jogo aqui. A Leblanc, o Orm e o Logos. Cadê as pessoas pra fazer isso? Nossa, eu gritei. Pra que as pessoas... Onde estão as pessoas pra fazer isso? Agora. Vamos apagar Final Fantasy X-2 e colocar ela Blank como protagonista. Uau. Bom, Far Plains, não é mesmo? É o lugar dos, dos motos. Então eu acho que é pra lá que nós vamos agora. Muita conversa. Muita explicação hoje. Aham, uh -huh, ok. Ah, a gente tem que ver a, es a esfera. O que temos aqui? Parece como uma transmissão, mas é bastante fraca. O que é? Hum... I'm getting signals from the car sphere we dropped in that hole, but I can't seem to connect. Enough, little boy. Move aside. See, it connected. Inconceivable. Impressive machina. An invention like this could change the world. Whoever came up with this is a genius. He's got good taste. <laughs> Guess I'm a genius too for fixing it. Anybody home? Gippo! I don't think he can hear us. No response. Hm. Some genius. <gasps> New G! If you're done playing, let's go. Chill out. Lost your nerve? Hey, we're talking about Vegnagon. How the heck do you fight that thing? We can't even walk up to it without freaking it out. Or making it mad. But I've got a plan. If it doesn't work? Death will be my apology. Whatever, man. When a Death Seeker dies, that's no apology. What about LeBlanc? Well, she... Why did it cut off like that? Just when he was getting to the juicy bits! It's not my fault. What a piece of junk! Forget it, I'll go ask him myself. What about the gold wings? 
I think that we should help out Nuge. But first, I want to try talking to Shu Yin. I have to tell him how Len felt. I'm sure he'll understand. How? We can't exactly make an appointment. We'll just have to jump into one of those holes. Together, this time. Approach! Gall wings! We move out! Celsius! Full speed ahead! E com isso, senhoras e senhores, o capítulo 4 está completo. Vamos para o último capítulo, capítulo 5. Eu falei, esse jogo, quando você vai para as coisas... É... Importantes, você voa nele. Mas, no próximo episódio, iniciamos o capítulo 5, o último capítulo para o final do jogo. Então, eu espero vocês lá. Muito obrigado a todos que assistiram. Valeu e falou!